Trying to decide what products are right for your new skincare business? Choosing products that fit your brand, audience, sales strategy, and price point can be overwhelming. But it's essential if you plan on operating a successful skincare or beauty business. We've worked with hundreds of business owners, and here are four tips to help you pick the right products for your business. First, you want to research industry trends. The beauty industry is always coming up with new and improved ideas, and what was popular six months ago may not be relevant today. Start by checking sites like Amazon or Google Shops. What products are most popular and selling the best? Also, look at skincare and beauty industry websites like Global Cosmetic News, GCI, Women's Wear Daily's Beauty Inc., Cosmetic Business, Beauty Independent, and Premium Beauty News. These publications can provide great insight into what's hot and on trend. You also want to dig around and get an idea of what people are looking for when it comes to skincare and beauty products. Forums are a good place to dig for data, but manufacturers' websites can be a valuable source as well. Recently, customers have been looking for more natural products in eco-friendly and recyclable packaging. And people are looking for three-step skincare routines that actually deliver documented results. So now that you've done your research, what's next? Let's consider your type of business. Do you have an e-commerce site? Do you own a spa, salon, or other retail storefront? Will you be selling directly to customers or will you be hosting events? If you're an e-commerce business, the secret is to know your audience and believe in what you're selling. The difference between you and a company that sells 100 plus products is specialization. You know your audience and what they want. Take advantage of that. It's a lot easier to convince others through the internet if you're not only passionate about the products, but know firsthand that they actually work. You don't have to compete on volume. Select products that match your branding and your audience. If you're a retail store, who comes into your store? What are they expecting? Why should customers buy from you instead of someone else? Think about trending items in popular retail stores and see how these can match up with your specific customers. Also, consider the type of treatments your customers are looking for. Are they looking for acne consultations? Are they trying to minimize dark circles or reduce discoloration? Are they looking to reduce the effects of aging? And now, if you're selling in person, the great thing is that you have direct interaction with your clients and you can ask what they're looking for. By combining customer feedback with your individual expertise, you can select products that resonate with your audience and deliver the results they're expecting. Another thing to consider when selecting products is the fact that not everybody has the same skin type or skincare needs. Different skincare products and formulas will contain ingredients that benefit one type of customer, but not the other. If you're working with sensitive skin types, choose products with fewer ingredients and fragrances. Look for calming ingredients like chamomile and avoid potential irritants like retinol or salicylic acid. And if you're working with dry skin types, you'll recommend products with moisturizing ingredients like hyaluronic acid, which can boost hydration up to 72 hours. Be sure to avoid products that contain alcohol as it dries up the skin and prevents it from retaining its natural oils. If you're working with oily skin types, a lightweight product like a moisturizer containing salicylic acid or an exfoliating product containing charcoal can prevent breakouts and they won't clog pores. Avoid products that contain heavy butters like coconut oil and shea butter to prevent breakouts. Think about age groups. Are your customers mature or younger? If they're older, consider choosing products with anti-aging benefits. If they're younger, choose products that prevent signs of aging and give them a natural glow. Think about gender. Is the majority of your audience male or female? If they're male, select products with less fragrance. Think about how men need extra moisture for their beard or shaved face and choose products that are beneficial for that. If they're female, think about why they want skincare products to begin with. Women want to make sure their makeup stays put, their skin is glowing, and their skin looks ageless. Choose products that are geared towards firming, repairing, and exfoliating the skin. Think about your geographic location. If you're in a drier climate like Arizona, then a hydrating product is key. If you're selling to people in the tropics, then think about selling water-based products. And in colder climates, your clients will need the extra hydration boost. After gathering all the information about your business and audience, it's time to ask one last question. Can my audience afford this? 
You run a business, you need to make a profit. But when you calculate the total cost of the products you're looking to sell, is it within the range your customers are willing to pay? Along the same lines, figure out if you will be selling products individually or as bundles. By bundling less expensive products with expensive ones, you can spread out the cost and make a higher price point more acceptable to customers. The great thing is, no matter what you decide, Onaxa makes it easy for you and your business. We offer an array of products at low minimums, so you can test out a product line with minimal risk before investing in a larger order. Plus, all our products are the same price, making it effortless to determine your profitability.